Okay, let's call the meeting to order, everybody. Thank you for coming. Um, the chair is absent this afternoon, so in his place I'll be chairing the meeting. I'm Natasha Yakovlev, and we have licensed commissioner Helen Kahn. And to remind everybody, there is um, audio video recording happening. Is there any public comment this afternoon? No public comment? We'll move on to item, agenda item number three. Oh, we do have public comment. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, agenda, uh, public sorry? comment on the agenda item or public comment? In public comment in general. No, on the agenda items. Okay. Sorry. Okay, great. Um, you're here representing one of the agenda items? Okay. Item number three, vote to rescind the following short-term liquor license, the Greater Northampton Chamber of Commerce um, event license for October 2nd, 2019 for their open house at 99 Pleasant Street. This was a wine and malt license. Um, they did not pick up the license, um, so we need to rescind that ever happened, and that's just a vote, so not a motion. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I will make a motion to rescind um, the short-term liquor license for the Greater Northampton Chamber of Commerce on the date outlined in item three of the agenda. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item number four: applications for short-term liquor licenses for the Academy of Music Incorporated (DBA Academy of Music). Hi. Hi. Terry, can you state your name for the record? Melissa Cleary Pearson. Great, thank you for coming. Um, I just have to read through the rest of the agenda items. That's fine. Uh, for location at the Academy of Music, 274 Main Street, wine and malt license with a request for fee waiver for the following dates. Saturday, January 11th, 2020, 7 to 11 for Rock Voices. February 1st, 2020, 8 to 11 for The Machine Performs Pink Floyd. February 28th, 2020, 8 to 11 for Josh Ritter with Ramblin' Jack Elliott. February 29th, 2020, 7 to 11 for the Back Porch Bluegrass and the Travelin' McCorys. For March 1st, 2020, 7 to 11, Mary Stewart and his, Marty Stewart and his fabulous superlatives. March 8th, 2020, 8 to 11, the Jayhawks. March 10th, 2020, 7 to 11, the Red Hot Chili Pipers. March 11th, 2020, 8 to 11, Steve Hackett, Genesis Revisited. March 13th, 2020, 8 to 11, a St. Patrick's Day Celtic sojourn. March 14th, 2020, 8 to 11, Jonathan Richmond and Bonnie Prince Billy. March 15th, 2020, 8 to 11, Postmodern Jukebox. April 8th, 2020, 8 to 11, an evening with David Sedaris. And May 3rd, 2020, 8 to 11, they might be giants. And finally, June 10th, 2020, 8 to 11, David Crosby and the Sky Trails Band. Does that cover it? <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank has, you. Has anything changed no. with everything? Okay. Then I have no questions. It's all the same. I have no questions. Okay. Would you like to make a motion? I would. I'd like to make a motion to approve the short term liquor licenses as detailed in item four of the agenda. And the fee waiver? Uh, and uh, a motion to approve the fee waiver for those um, events as well. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Item number five, application for short-term liquor license. Hi. Hi. Can you state your name for the record? Tiffany Bargeron. Thank you for coming. Uh, so this is for your event on Friday, January 10th from 6 to 8 at 9 and a half Market Street, and it's an art opening reception. Yeah, it's for arts and out. Um, I guess our coverage from last year um, expired for the arts night out oh, and they like, oh. and okay. yeah they got it up just the day before we closed for the season oh okay so nobody actually saw it until oh. after the event yeah. the, the time frame but yep. we got in here because we have our event going okay um so, yeah, and is different. there anything different from your usual yeah. events when you host great same same as usual well. okay We're doing every year month <laughs> yes I don't have any questions then. Well, thank you. Me neither. Um, I will make a motion to approve the short term liquor license for Click Workspace as detailed in item five of the agenda. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you, mm -hmm. Tiffany. Uh -huh. Item number six application for transfer of ownership on a class one car dealer license. No one's here for Roland's Motor Works? Yeah. It's okay. Oh, okay, hi. Mm -hmm. Hi there, could you state 
your name for the record? Tina Champagne. Tina Champagne, and you are here for Rollins Motor Works LLC, a Rollins Motor Works, um, to, for a transfer of ownership from sole proprietor Roland Tessier to Rollins Motor Works LLC. Great. And we have all of the paperwork in order. Where are you located? On 504 um, East Road, North Oh, okay. Okay, I'm up. Gotcha. I don't have any questions. It just seems to be an administrative yeah. 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 Oh, okay. 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 So um, then I will make a motion to approve the transfer of ownership on the Class 1 car dealer license for Rollins Motor Works, LLC DBA Rollins Motor Works, from um, Rollins Test here to Rollins Motor Works, LLC. I will second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Am I finished? Yeah, I'll email you in the morning. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Item number seven, application for change of ownership on a common mixture license. We're transferring from Northampton Coffee LLC DBA Northampton Coffee to Cherry Pie LLC DBA Northampton Coffee. Is anyone here? Great, come yeah. on up. Hi there. Hello, how are you? Could you just state your name for the record? Yep, Annie Lytle Rich. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, so you, so this is going from Northampton Coffee. Are you um, Shelburne mm -hmm. Coffee? Okay, great. Yes, but okay. it's Cherry Pie LLC is the. It's a separate machine. Okay. Yeah. Got it. And we have all of your documentation. Um, I don't have any questions. Do you have any yeah. questions? Seems straightforward. Great. Okay. Great. All right. So I'll make a motion to approve the change of ownership on a common vitriol license for uh, from Northampton Coffee LLC DBA Northampton Coffee to Cherry Pie LLC DBA Northampton Coffee. I will second. All in favor? Aye. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much. See ya. Item number eight, request to change, extend hours on an annual all alcohol beverage license for Sylvester's Fine Foods Incorporated, DBA Sylvester's. The request is to extend operating hours from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. Hi, could you state your name for the record? Sure, Jillian Duclos. Jillian, and what is your role at Sylvester's? I am the general manager of Sylvester's. Thank you for coming. So you're going to start serving dinner, I take it? Uh, we are going to start serving dinner. Great. A short menu, yeah. Great. And we have all of your documentation. Um, do you have questions? No. I mean, it's within the parameters of the all alcohol license, right? There's no issues yes. with extending yep. hours. Do you want to say uh -huh. that you to open at 7? Yes. You can't start serving alcohol until 8. Yes. You, you know that. We do. Okay, great. And the same for uh, 10 a.m. on Sundays. We need, yes. Okay, great. As long as I just saw it in here and just wanted to make sure. Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, I have I have no questions for you. Yeah. That sounds great. Awesome. <coughs> Want to make a motion? Yes, I would. We'll make a motion um, to approve um, changing and extending hours on an annual all alcohol uh, beverage license uh, for Sylvester's Fine Foods. DBA Sylvester's um, from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. I'll second the motion. I'll take it. Thank you, Jillian. Nice to meet you. Me too. Item number nine public hearing for an application for transfer and change of location on an all alcohol beverages license in application for common victualler license. AC Fair Incorporated DBA Patria, proposed location 154 Main Street, Suite 1. Um, Proposed manager Aaron C. Thayer. And we open a public hearing now before they speak. Okay, so would you like to make a motion to open a public hearing? Yes, I'll make a motion to open, <laughs> then we open the public hearing. I will second that motion. All in favor? Uh, Aye. So the public hearing's been opened. Thank you for coming. If you could state your names for the record. My please. name is Tom Lesser. I represent uh, Mr. Thayer, Aaron Thayer, who's by my side. And he's planning to open a restaurant in what was be what had been Convino mm -hmm. in the basement of Thorns. And we're here today on a com application for a common victual license and also to transfer the all alcohol mm -hmm. license, both the license itself and in, in a new location. Yep. And uh, I'm Aaron there. 
Nice to meet you. Congratulations. We're Thank you very much. excited to Appreciate it. Yes. have another restaurant in town. Yes, it's going to be a good year. Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. Um, so you are aware there's outdoor seating yes. available there, yes, but you there will is. need a separate permit sure. for that. Yeah, okay, great. Um, and have you, so I know you've been a chef at several restaurants. Have yes. you owned and operated a restaurant? This before? is my first restaurant. Okay. Yeah. Um, I've worked uh, in San Francisco, I've worked in Boston, um, Providence, Rhode Island, but never um, owned a restaurant. Yep. Okay. Have you ever managed a place and been responsible for the yes. liquor license? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily responsible for the liquor license. Mm -hmm. We had a beer and wine license, um, but I was the chef of a restaurant in San Francisco and I was, you know, the head manager and mm -hmm. stuff. Okay. Do you have questions? Yeah. And so where is this? Transferred from the two sixty one King Street Sakura. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, sorry, just reading through. <clears throat> I don't want all the paperwork because in order it wasn't yeah. served. Oh, everything's moved to access. Oh, okay. Is there any public comment at this time regarding this agenda item? No public comment. Okay. Are we can close the hearing. Do I Make yep. a motion to yep. okay. <laughs> making a motion to close the public hearing. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. And with no further questions, then you want to make a motion to approve the yes. transfer? Um, yes. Yeah, so oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Um, we don't have all the documents. Oh, There's okay. a few things outstanding mm -hmm. um, that need to be um, obtained from the seller. Oh, um, okay. I just talked to Ed about it, and he's, he's on it. Okay. Yes, and then we need tips certification for Mr. Thayer and um, with the liability and workers comp. Okay. Um, so with the liability and workers comp can come after after what? after it's not an ABCC requirement. So, okay. Um, I, I don't need those until uh, even after the license is approved. So can we make just before I issue it? Can we uh, make a motion to approve it pending can approve receipt it. of those documents? Yeah. So you're you're up to speed on everything yes. you just said. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So I'll make a motion to approve uh, the application for transfer and change of location on an all alcoholic beverages license, um, contingent upon the, receiving the paperwork required. Yes. <laughs> the outstanding paperwork that's required. Yeah. Teaming the And so. no, and okay. the application for a common back. Right. And. Um, and uh, approve, uh, make a motion to approve the common Vic license as well for AC Thayer, Inc., DBA, Patria. I will second both of those motions. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you very much. Fumble through it, but yeah. we're done. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's good luck Thank with you. it. Thank you. Have a nice day. We're all set with that one. Yep. Okay, great. <laughs> Item number 10, application for change of manager on an annual wine and malt beverage license for Landran, LLC, DBA, The Dirty Truth, proposed manager, Kyle M. Anderson. Hi there. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? Could you state your name for the record? Kyle. Great, thank you. Okay, so you are the proposed new manager. Correct. Have you uh, managed an establishment with liquor before? I have been managing, um, I've been general manager yeah. um, for two years now, and there's a kitchen manager previously. Oh, okay. Okay, great. I don't have questions. Do I just to... will state for the record that um, although I believe it's not a conflict of interest, that I previously employed Mr. Anderson at the Top Cafe, been okay. as the manager at my cafe way back when, almost nine years ago. <laughs> so, but, um, yeah, so that, and, and he left on good terms, so there's no Great. <laughs> great. And we have. Um, all the documentation has been submitted, so I don't have any further questions. Yeah. Not really well. All right. I'll we'll make that motion. We'll gladly make a motion to approve the change of manager on an all annual on an annual wine and malt beverages license for Landrin LLC, DPA, The Dirty Truth, uh, proposed manager Kyle. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks so much. Good, luck. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you. All right. Item eleven. Continued discussion of the Majestic Saloon's noise complaint. Um, do we have new news for this? Not, I mean, not really. Um, I followed up on the um, 
the decibel limit, mm -hmm. it's 55 between okay. 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. Uh, the building commissioner um, said that you guys can request a sound meeting check and they, that someone from the building department inspector could go down and read the decibel limit. He said he he said that um, he said that he can almost guarantee that it will not be over 55 decibels, and um, he said that there's no way a reading of 55 would be reached through a brick wall. So he's. Did we do the same um, thing when the seven strong hit noise and lights? Like okay, so I think that he know. did. Okay. I seem to. I could be. I that was the t I came along at the tail end of that, but I seem to recall that. Um, there was some town sound testing. I could be wrong. Um, yeah, I mean the inaccurate phone one doesn't seem. To yeah, be and he said that he said that if like people like he probably like the apps they're just completely inaccurate. Mm -hmm. and so, which is probably what he's using to because he Phil said that he was he is a decibel reader, but they're pretty. I mean, not but they can't be trusted. Yeah. I mean, right. if you have a real oh. one. Oh, yeah, but the but apps can't the be apps, trusted. Yeah. Um, so Phil was said to um, let me know of any developments. I hadn't heard anything until um, yesterday. He said that they made a few adjustments to the sound system, but they, and they never installed the bass traps that they were going to install because. They wanted to see the outcome of adjusting the system before before installing the traps. But he did say that they would be installing the traps. He said at that meeting he said they'd be installed within a week. He also said within a week I would have an application for a change of ownership. No, he's got not to have. Okay. He called this afternoon and said he couldn't make the meeting because he, he was sick, but he said he would have a change of ownership or a change of ownership application to two weeks before the February meeting. Is there, are you here to speak to this agenda item? Okay. So the, the change of ownership is, I mean, that's been dragging out for some For a while. Yeah. For some more. Or more. More than that. More than that. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely more than that. Um, and you haven't heard from the neighbors since the meeting? Um, yes. Uh, no. No, I haven't. But I included an email exchange between Phil and Eric. And actually, I did. I emailed Eric to get his statement that he made here so I could include it for the record. And he emailed back and he said that there's a new person that just moved in downstairs with that other person we found up and he said that they're not too happy and he left it at that, so. Well, it seems, it seems reasonable to have the decibel test, mm -hmm. even though the building commissioner doesn't think it's going to. Yeah, no, it's, I definitely reach that. that. Yeah. 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 That. yeah, so he put that into motion to yeah. have that done. Um, you know, and I just, I kind of feel like there's been a lot of like, give an inch, take a mile mm -hmm. with yeah. some of this stuff yeah. with that establishment. Yeah. So I'm a little concerned with the continued um, lack of promptness yeah. with the paperwork for yeah, the Yeah, I mean, it took a month to get any type of communication and Brian had said last week anything you do anything you do yeah. you need to be aware of and when they made adjustments to the sound and we didn't know that we didn't know that the bass traps weren't going to be installed when the last we knew that they were so what do you think we should um well what, and what's this email interchange i haven't had a chance to read this this is a new one this, this is the very recent um it's okay. So on December 7th, after they made adjust, adjustments to the sound system, Eric said that it was tolerable. And he said it wasn't. He just said keep it where it is and I'm good. Well, that's good. Yeah. yeah. But anyway. 
Oh, and that's between the shower. Okay. Yeah. So it almost sounds like they're resolving it with the, although uh, there's also now a new tenant who is right. really happy. So yeah, I think it's still worth getting the gas while leaving. Um, just to see where we are with it. Um, but yeah, it does seem like, so, so, and what was his response? Is he saying by the next meeting he will have the- He said that he would have, he would get an application in to me for the February meeting for a change of ownership. Because I was looking back at those minutes, and it was funny. It said, I'll be there within a week, but then he did say, but, but I won't said, be at the meeting. Yes, but I didn't really know how to maneuver yeah. those. He yeah. said whole things. Yeah. So um. it's, it seems reasonable to communicate to him as far as the change of um, ownership application goes, that not appearing, not providing you with the appropriate paperwork and appearing at the February meeting could have repercussions on the Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm on the license and that that would be decided at the February meeting if if those items aren't in place and or he's not here to discuss it. Mm -hmm. Can you make a motion to request the building department to send a inspector down there just in case? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll make a motion to request that the make a motion to request that the building department department send an inspector down to to test the decibel limit. Um, what is it in the department next next door to? Would he do it in the bar yeah, itself, or, or probably the, do it outside? I don't know. I I'd have to talk to him about okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Check. But you don't have to decide on that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Trust will do it in the most reasonable. Please. Well, I second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I mean, it is promising Eric's email. Yeah. That it was yeah. tolerable, that he understands where he's living. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's the, it's the lack of communication. communication. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's that item. Yeah. All right, great. Moving on to item 12, update on 2020 licenses. The Pomeroy Inn. Yes, so they did not renew. Um, they are not advertising themselves at an inn anymore. Mm -hmm. They're gonna register as an Airbnb and it's down the website. Okay, so, so that's good. Um, in the red, mm -hmm. did not renew. Their renewal paperwork came back. Um, I was told that they were closed. Yeah, they didn't rent. For rent sign oh, there in the door. Is. Yeah. Okay. Yep, they're long gone. Um Osaka, I had to I had to I had to issue a temporary license for Osaka and Oriental Taste because I didn't get their wage bond in time. Mm -hmm. Um I heard so Oriental Taste wage bond, which I didn't know, actually expires like mid January. So their night two thousand nineteen wage bond was still good for this for this like renewal mm -hmm. season. So I issued them one through January 31st, and as soon as I get that renewal, I'll just give them the year, or the 2020 license. Mm -hmm. And Osaka, um, there was, I guess, something happened with the uh, bonding company. I, uh, I don't really understand it, um, but I heard from the underwriter in at the bonding company in Washington, and he said that, um, I guess there was a changeover in the business that bonded, that gave him this bond. Mm -hmm. um, so he said that due to the changeover, um, the surety has not given any distinct notification on how they'll be handling the renewal of the bonds they have in place, except for the fact that they will either be non-renewing the policy and will be issuing a new bond with the new surety or, and or reinstatement with the continuation certificate. This will be done the next week or week or two, even though the bond will cancel, there will be no lapse in coverage and the liability of the surety will still be in place for the 120 day cancellation provision that is listed on the bond form. I don't really, um, Val, she, okay, so I asked Val at, um, Waylon, I said, um, 
in the case that the bond gets not renewed, what happens? And she said, if the bond is not renewed, it's only so it can be issued on new paper, in quotes. This simply means written by a different company name. That is the holdup. Because of the company being purchased, they haven't decided if company A will be issuing, will be the issuing company or company B. So it's going to It's get going issued. to, yeah. and okay. they just haven't decided how they're gonna handle it because okay. there's two companies merged. Oh, right. Okay. Um, and then Oriental Taste, she said, is written with a different company. The Their bond won't expire until the third week in January, so their current bond is active until then. Okay. Great. Um, <clears throat> and then I just have a list of license orders that haven't renewed. Yes. Oh. So meaning you have not received their paperwork? No. Um, I haven't really heard from anyone either. I've sent three emails and uh, made phone calls. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess I'm just putting you on notice, letting you know that they haven't renewed. And what is the Go West building? Is it's, it the, it's, yeah, it's is it the Freckled Fox that's yeah, in a, the Go West building? Yes. But it's now called the Go West building. I mean, or it's called the they, Go West building. They, it's not just the business of Freckled Fox kind of thing. Well, it's upstairs. It's oh. a lodging house. Oh, oh, okay. So it's a lodging house like, license. Like, what kind of okay. license do they need? Um, okay, the building itself upstairs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, which is. I mean, it's through um, Valley CDC. Yeah, Valley yeah. CDC. Mm -hmm. But yeah. they just haven't. I haven't. I I could have swore I heard from their property manager like in the end of November, and she called and she had a question, but I haven't heard from her mm -hmm. again. I've called and emailed. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, but the late fee, the fifteen dollar late fee, kicked in on Monday. So. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And that's just a one-time late fee, or is that every... I mean, if they don't pick it up by February 6th, then it will it'll be $30. Yeah. So every month. But hoping we don't get there. Right. right. Do we usually have that many people? No. Yeah. We don't. Yeah. It seems unusual. Uh, we always have Smithsonian. We always have um, the Hampshire Inn. And we always have Bowie's. They're always... Yeah. Um, but the other ones, no. Okay. So I'll keep trying. Okay. Why don't you guys do that? Thank you. Um, so that was item 13. Was that item 13? Or was no, that, that was 12. That was 12. Oh, right. Okay. Update. Okay. Item 13, discussion of 2020 license holders not in compliance with the provisions of their license. And that's these things. That's those. Yes. Okay. Yep. So the Roost is mm -hmm. changing their ownership yeah. structure. Do you see yeah, that? they're going to a co-op. Yeah, oh, so yeah, employee so owned. Here, this is the it brought this on the Facebook post. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yep. Um so I don't know if we how we want to handle these. Do we want to send letters? Yeah. Because we sent the memo with yep. the license rules, and I've actually had a few people call and been like, Am I in compliance? That's like, great. Do I need to make That's any changes? Um, one of them being Abisa Tapas. Okay. I haven't gotten, I, I wasn't able to, I haven't been able to respond to him yet because I haven't gotten a ruling by Attorney Seawalk. Emailed him again today, I haven't heard back, which isn't like him. So right. I'll, he's coming to the office tomorrow, so I will nudge him a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah. It would have been nice to have an answer today, but, because yeah. I also asked him for, um, kind of a ruling on what to do about the Calvin and Center Street Cafe, which is now boarded up. Yep. Yeah, they have a the, they have a building permit for a repair. So I don't know if they're putting in new windows or, because there's... How do you know that? She just knows <laughs> Cover this. <laughs> right, right. Because everybody, they, you see one of those empty properties, activity happening, everybody's like, oh my God, what's going on? There's yeah. a business coming. And it's yeah. like, well, actually, let me check and see the permits. It's yeah, just, it's like a repair thing. So, um, there's, to my knowledge, it maybe it's being repaired in anticipation of yeah. a new tenant coming in. But I mean, we certainly need. It's vacant, isn't it? It yeah, is. I mean, does the yeah. basement ever open? Sometimes. Sometimes. There, but not a lot. I mean, I don't even know if and it's every week. When it does open, what happens there? I think DJs. Okay. Yeah. But like I said, I don't even know if it's a weekly thing that they have. 
Um, and as far as Ibiza Tapas goes, that goes way back to the original transfer of the license that had been the city lottery license that had the business. Yeah, I mean, then change the transfer. Like that, right. Um, and the special act, if you read it, it's not, it doesn't read the way it was supposedly intended. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, so that's why I've, I've asked for like a memo from. That would be really helpful, yeah. And yeah. I've asked him if it's kind of fun for two. Right. So I'm hoping to get that shortly. Right. And I guess no, and the Calvin. I guess we yes. kind of right and seven strong before it. Oh yeah. I guess we kind of need to wait for his ruling until we even discuss the Calvin and yeah. the basement. Yeah. Yeah. Um. The roost. Yeah. I guess maybe I send a letter. Just saying it came to the attention of the license commission that you're changing your. Let me remind you that you must make yeah. application for the DCC. Yeah, yeah, because I'm sure yeah. it hasn't even occurred that level. No, occurred. yeah. And the lodge, the Elks Lodge, in October of 18, they submitted an application for a change of manager and it was kicked back. Um, they need Wait, more. you really mean 2018? 2018. <laughs> okay. Yes. Not, it's not a typo. Uh, okay. Um, not a and after numerous attempts to contact them via phone, email, I ha still have not received the supplemental docu document. So it's just sitting at the ABCC right now. Okay. Um, and the manager of record is a woman that she hasn't been involved in the business in four years. Right. And she and doesn't want to be And on she doesn't want to be on it because if anything happens, yeah. she's liable for yeah. it. Yeah. So that it needs to happen. Um, I won't. I guess yeah. I need a certified letter. Um, yeah, in November, November twenty seventh of eighteen, it was kicked back from the ABCC. Yeah. All right. So, how does this happen? Like, go on for a year? I mean, is it because we're not? Um, partly, about yeah, um, but also I didn't really bring it to your attention. Yeah. Um, I was, I, the, the person that, um, Michael Bartsley, mm -hmm. he's the president, mm -hmm. and he's who I was dealing with, and also Wendy Mazza, yeah. former city clerk, so I was dealing with them, and Wendy was trying to get, get it done, and I don't know if she left, because I haven't been able to get in touch with her. Yeah. Um, but I just, it, there's been no response. No, nothing. Um, what, are our, what are our options? Um, I think a certified letter to start with, yeah. and then, I mean, we could look into a compliance check because it's not the manager of record. Yeah, it's completely unfair to that person to, yeah. And their, like, their change of ownership all that has changed too. Right. Which is partly the reason it was kicked back. Okay. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. something would be, yeah. All right, well, I'll draft the letter. Okay, thank you. And then. And then this is another, is this really December 2018 with the, no. Oh. I said even, that's 2019. That's 2019. That is. Open that up. <laughs> that is a typo. Okay. okay. Yes. Um, so it, this one hasn't gone on too long. Um, I mean, according to the ABCC, as soon as a manager has resigned or left, they have to immediately petition us for a change. But, mm -hmm. um, they were waiting to hire a new general manager until they apply instead of going through it a few times. So I can just, he's very responsive, so I can just touch base with him and just ask him if there's any movement. Okay. If they haven't if they've hired anybody. And okay. Just a reminder. This done. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like he's on it. Yeah. Okay. I think so. So in this, he, he renewed the license, but there's no information about operating hours. Is that where we are? Well, we, so, I mean, Brian was under the impression that 
they close during the winter. Um, so I don't, I don't know if they are or not. Okay, I'll, yeah. I'll check. Yeah, how do you drive by and see if um, there's close in hours? Yeah, okay. Is that reasonable? Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. Yeah. Because he says he he said he was going to stay open all, all, all. He, he said it'd be open twelve months of the year, and yeah. he said ten to six. Yeah. Pretty much when people are golfing. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you know. I'll do my recon. Okay. And but and then but if he's not, I mean, I know he he doesn't stay in the area for the winter himself personally. So if there's. But he he, he yeah he told he told Brad, or he told us when he was here that. She would be in Florida all winter. He would be. Oh, there. okay. I I I'll have to check the minutes, but okay. I'm almost positive she. That was what he said. Okay. All right. Anything else? Not on okay. that. Not on those. Okay. No. Do you have anything else on any of these problems? People. Licenses, rather. All right. So that was thirteen. Okay. Item 14, clerks update cordials and liquors pass. So liqueurs. Yeah, that, that ordinance passed through city council on the mm -hmm. second rating. So it is now it's adding one in, or all one and all license holders are allowed to apply. To apply. Yes. It, it would be it's just a change of category. Yep. So it's a simple application. Yep. Um, but I just wanted you to guys know that it did pass. So okay. you may see some applications coming. Okay. Were you here for that agenda item? We're, We're running out of items. <laughs> is the uh, is the license for the pot shop at two thirty five? We don't. I'm so sorry. We don't handle the licenses for the pot shops. So that is done. I know. I hope you've enjoyed the meeting. I'm really sorry. Oh, actually, they, it, it has <laughs> been an education. You guys run a nice shop here. Well, thank say. you. Yeah. They um, the cannabis commission handles that it's at a state level it's not at a municipal level I, I, i'm wondering why we were advised to be here at this hour who who by who yeah. melissa no no he forwarded an email i don't know no I'm, it's kind of water under the bridge at this yeah. point oh, but we gosh, were sent so email. sorry yeah, we should have yeah. asked up front sorry. yeah i'm really sorry so the city has no authority or control over i mean no, it's a state license. Um, we don't, I mean, we have control over who can, who we allow to apply here because they need to, uh, the chief executive has to sign off on making sure that the applicant is compliant, but um, it, it gets approved by the State Cannabis Control Commission. And how do we access that commission? Uh, I mean, they, they're in Boston. They're actually moving to Worcester. That's more convenient. Right. Um, <laughs> they, I mean, they have a website, but, and they have, I, I mean. Does anybody know who George Danziger is? It's me. Oh. <laughs> okay. So it's you that started. No, I got, I got, because I, I got it from Richard. Oh, uh, so it goes back to Richard. Yes. Okay. So is, I have, I have a couple questions. Maybe you could advise. The building has. The building that the plane put this thing has has uh, numerous building code violations. Where? Two thirty five Main. Oh, uh, Sam, the old Sam's Pizza. Sam's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, former Sam's building, and and the whole floors above. Um, I'm the manager of the abutting building. Okay. Um, and we live in the next building. And who's the next building. Who's, who's the next managing two thirty five now that Mr. Bowles has passed? The um, the Bowles family is okay. running it. Um, so have you talked to the building department about code violations? That's tomorrow's meeting. Yes, that is that's that's where you should start. So my question is if if does I mean at some point if they want to serve the public they should have a code compliant building to do sure. that. They have to. They have to have a certificate of occupancy signed off by the building department yeah. before they can open. But wouldn't there necessarily I mean apart from that, wouldn't there necessarily have to be hearings locally? As far there as the license was, um, they're called community outreach meetings. Yeah. They're required to have them, um, and they did have really one. Right. Yes, regarding that property. 
Yes, they have to, and the city doesn't sign off unless they have, and then, and until the mayor talks to the applicant to make sure there was no, um, nobody was objecting. Wow. Yeah. And I think that they, I think all their due diligence is to, to announce these meetings is simply to just, I think it's just put an ad in the paper. Yeah. It's the yeah. paper, the yeah. city clerk, us. So unless and, you're anticipating it, it's oh. really easy to mess. Yeah. You can, like you can miss the hyperspace bypass that's going into the basement. Yeah. Totally. It's in the basement. Right? Yes. <laughs> yes. But the concern but, is the impact on Main Street. Totally. I, 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 parking yep. and police presence and yeah. it will change the character. Yeah, I know. That's a great. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's essentially downtown committing suicide. It's just mm -hmm. nuts. It's, it's well, it when, <laughs> when it became, when it became legal and it went to city council, the city council declined to set a limit mm -hmm. on it and, and because they felt it was to be treated as all other retail establishments and we don't set limits on retail establishments. So it, different communities do it differently. Mm -hmm. East Hampton, I think, set a limit on it and um, it's, it is, so at this point, it's the Cannabis Control Commission, the building inspector, and then the political process of going back to the mayor's office and the city council and screening. Yeah, yeah. yeah probably city council. Yeah. And if this contact isn't made, it will just go through and they will have um, a license to operate a dispensary? Well, I mean, as, as if... If the cannabis, the, the cannabis control commission has, they come out and they do a inspection. They have to make sure all their cannabis is coming from a tested laboratory. Um, they do their due diligence, which is why it's taking. They they're really behind. They have like two hundred applications that they're sitting on right now, and um, so it will be a while. But I would have to doubt that they have a concern about the impact on the community. The cannabis commission, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, do, it, oh no, I, I don't, I, I can't imagine, yeah, I mean, that's a lot of communities to concern yeah. themselves with, broadly. And given what we've seen has already happened to part of our community, which wasn't Main Street, um, it's really a significant concern. Yeah. Of, uh, safety, uh, building um, prices, real estate going down, and, uh, and Main Street change. It's a change. And there are, there are much better alternative locations available that are vacant, that have parking, that are not on places where there's residents and other businesses to be impacted. Certainly, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a bad choice. It's but bad there, but choice. you're saying that there is a, a decision-making process to be made after the, uh, the Cannabis Commission looks at it? No, they're the fi they're the final sign off. Yeah. So the city would have nothing to say about it beyond that. The city has already signed off that they're in compliance with all of the requirements. Really? Yes. Right, but the city, I think the only restrictions in terms of locations would be in a school, like immediate vicinity of a school. Is that true? Yeah, it's like a two hundred foot buffer zone. Yeah. yeah. So there's there's no study in terms of the impact it makes to the community or anything. I think it's brand new territory, you know, for yeah. the state at large. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. the studies sort of yeah. happen as, I mean, there's what, I think two state, two other states that went before Massachusetts yeah. that probably have done studies, but they're very different places too. So yeah. it's hard to say. And, and when you have individually owned buildings, people have a right to rent to who they want to rent to. Rent to. Mm -hmm. So then that brings in that whole issue of people's rights to, right, you know, have tenants. It's only begun because we're not going to sit quietly and have yeah. our yeah. street well, change that much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would definitely reach out to the mayor and to the city council and come for public uh, comment. At the beginning of city council meetings, you can have three minutes to speak mm -hmm. and you can prepare your remarks so you can make all your points. The council wouldn't exchange with you in the way that we are now because that's not how the public mm -hmm. comment is set up. When is the next meeting? It is the last Thursday. It's next Thursday. Next Thursday. It's the first and third Thursday of the month. Okay. And of every month. What time do they? Seven o'clock, right here. In the evening. Yep. Well, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm really yeah. sorry you sat. No, no, it's a, this is it's, it's really terrific to watch the the opera. You have a very nice way of running this thing, and it's <laughs> very it's clear you 
diligent and you're involved and, and Thank you. I know you're being paid fabulously. Oh, yeah, that's what it's so, all about. Yeah, that's and, that parking spot for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> we don't Stick get a ticket right for there. an hour. Yeah. <laughs> just kind of walk across the street. But make right. it an hour, one minute, you're done. Right, right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah. Get the information you need. All righty. So, okay. um, what next? Well, so your clerk's going to finish the door. Yes. Sorry. I thought that they were. So I have this movie. It's really good. Real right. Um, yeah. Minutes. Uh, approval of minutes. Yes. I read the minutes. I would like to make I make a motion to approve the minutes of December 5th, 2019. I will second. I. All in favor. I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay. Uh, any new business nope. for the chair that. We did not reasonably anticipate. No, I think we no. covered a lot today. Do you have anything else for us, Annie? I don't. All right, then let's adjourn this meeting. I'm make a motion to adjourn. I second. All in favor? Aye.